What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. On this channel we talk about all things fashion, fragrance, style, mental health, and all things self-care. So if you're into that type of content, stick around because we are gonna get into the top 10 winter fragrances designer edition for 2021. Yeah. The year's coming to a close. We just hit the winter solstice. I'm excited about breaking out some of these fragrances for winter time and I believe you will be too. So after the jump, we'll be right back. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way First up, an honorable mention Entre Noir. Entre Noir basically characterizes black ink. Has a very pronounced note of vetiver and fur. What do you think? It's a very dark, smoky kind of scent. I'm gonna be rocking this one just not as much as I'm gonna rock this top 10 that we're gonna get into. So, honorable mention goes to Entre Noir. Shout out to Natalie Lawson. That's my good, good girl. Coming up to the number 10 spot, we have. Mac Velvet Teddy. Honey, tobacco, very sexy. Some say that it's reminiscent of Tom Ford's Tobacco Benin. The only thing about this fragrance is I like to give it some time to drop down because the tobacco and honey note can be a little cloying to me. And the scent of honey usually makes me want to make me want to pee. Um, <laughs> once this one settles down, it's so sexy. And this one is typically marketed toward women, but I find it very, very alluring on my skin. You guys see that? Y'all see that dent I put in there? <laughs> A nine spot. Rosace's La Yaquan Perron. This one is very heavy in leather, raspberry, little bit of incense and smokiness. This one is a reputed dupe of Tom Ford's Huskin Leather. I usually put these in the niche and indie list. However, since this one is a dupe of a designer fragrance, we're gonna put it on in this designer top 10. Coming up to our number eight spot, we have Givenchy's Gentleman Only Absolutely. Ugh, sexy. Cinnamon, some spice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. My only odd with this one, even as an EDP, especially on my skin, it seems like this one gets a lot closer to the skin, but it has such a rich, sexy, spicy fragrance. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of Ferrari Scuderia Forte, kind of that fruity, sexy, cinnamony vibe. Ugh, it is very affordable too. I may have paid $50 for 1.7. Coming up to our number seven spot. Bentley for Man and Tent. I was late to the hype train on this one, but it don't matter. Get loads of leather, rum. For wintertime, I prefer this fragrance over Dior Own. There's a little bit more sweetness and depth and leather when I prefer, versus just the loaded, sweet, creamy, and iris focus of Dior Own. Winter is gonna belong to this sexy beast right here. It is a grown ass man fragrance. The bulk of the fragrances I'm gonna list are grown men fragrances, or grown how you identify types of fragrances. Some of this list is unisex, but most of it is gonna cater towards the fellas. Up to our number six spot, we have Exotos Wanted by Night. Sexiness of this one, I had to actually drop down. I ended up getting a big bottle. I'm glad that I did, because for this time of year, this fragrance is actually gonna kick some ass. Some may feel it's more fall, but it's sweeter, having that cinnamon to scream Christmas time to me, which is one of the reasons why I am enjoying doing this list because it is getting a hell of a lot colder here and I can wear my sweeter, heavier fragrances that are gonna last. I've been recently converted. I actually like it, I don't hate it like I used to. Bro, look at this but dude. I actually like that Zara line, period. So I'm a little partial, this had to happen. Mm, it's so sexy. Hope y'all know what time it is. We gotta keep the palette playing since we can ready to get to the top five. Mm. All right, come on. Bring it in. Get you a snap. Yes. Let's get ready to get into the top five. 
Coming up to our number five spot. We got Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Parfum. This bad boy right here. Surprise, motherfucker. Is sexy. Mm. I've heard individuals say this one's a good mix of Lamal and Ultramal. I find this one to be a very well blended fragrance that I will enjoy for wintertime. It's sexy, lavender. It's a cuddle up type of fragrance. And anybody smelling like this, you will not be able to ignore them. It has a depth that is not necessarily always equated with designer fragrance. It's a new acquisition to my collection. I don't know good deal of these are. I am so glad that I actually gave this one a shot. Sex! Coming up to our number four spot, Victor and Ross Spice Bomb. Extra. You know what we're getting. Into. Tobacco. This fragrance here is a bomb of spice and sexy that you just really cannot ignore. This is perfect for winter time because it has great projection and great longevity. And these fragrances really typically cut through the cold. They last, they're sweet, they're warm and inviting fragrances as well, so they're cozy types of scents. Coming up to our number three spot, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Mall. This needs no introduction. You know what we get. Shout out to Maison Francis Kirchin. You did the damn thing here. This is such a sexy, sweet fragrance. It reminds me of blue popsicle juice. Vanilla, lavender, hair. Cannot forget pears in this one. It's that type of sweet. It's perfect for this time of year. Partially because we get ready to go into them zero below days with the wind chill and the hawk being out. You need something to kind of the motherfucking weather in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Coming up to our number two spot. Ah, Versace Eros. The God of Love. Such a sexy fragrance. This is the EDT. Apple, Tonka Bean. This original formulation jacks, it lasts. It smells so intoxicating. This probably will always be in my at least top five until I run out of it. I prefer this one a little bit more than the Eros Flame. Even though Eros Flame smells amazing, it's more citrus for it, this is more apple for it. You made it and I'm so thankful that you all stuck around to see what I got going on for the number one spot. I'm pretty sure you all probably will know. I've talked about it, I've suggested it. Just in case you don't, I'm gonna put you on real quick. Ta da! Bulgari. Man in Black. Essence. And the atomizer you twist to open. This fragrance is rum focused, it cuts through the cold, it hangs on the skin, and then this bottle is a fing work of art. Get into it from all angles. Do you see that? And it's heavy too. This is such a sexy fragrance and it's one of my favorites. And of course, my man, shout out to Alberto Maria crafted this masterpiece. And I just gotta give it the love it deserves and that's why it made the number one spot on Uncommon Sense Top 10. I wanna thank you all for sticking around and hanging with your mans and enjoying this content. If you are indeed enjoying this content, leave a comment and a couple of likes and tell a friend to tell a friend and tell them to tell their friend because we do this just about every motherfucking weekend. I love you all from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. And guess what we gonna do? Yeah, we gonna lift it up. We gonna love on you underneath. It's been your man on Common Sense and I'm out. Till next time.